G'day guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I've come out today, do a bit of ferreting. I've brought uh, young Fleet, who's on his own. He's just spotted a couple of rabbits out here, and these paddocks are full of rabbits. Uh, there's a little burrow in here I'd stop and do every now and again. All the rabbits in this area seem to breed up, and when they move out, they come to this little burrow here. Not too sure why, but they do. And there's young Fleet. He's um, about two and a half now. For those who follow me on YouTube, you've seen his journey, and and he's uh, turned into quite something. He's um, he's very handy. Let's just say that I've left the other two at home. Zip's carrying an injury, um, and Cass is my son's up at the moment, and. He does a little bit of running and uh, he's been taking Cass with her, with him. So um, she's getting a bit of exercise with him, so I've left her as well. She's going for a run with him. So I'm going to throw the nets around this burrow. If you follow the YouTube, you would have seen this burrow before. Like I said, I do do it periodically. But I was driving around, I stopped in and caught, seen Mick just before to see uh, how many rabbits he's got about in. We've had a lot of rain this year and they've bred up quite a bit. All along that fence line there, there's, there's a, I don't know how many rabbits, and he said there's out the front there, there's quite a few too. So I just let him know that over the next month or so I'll be doing this area, and he'll see me coming and going. So he'll let all the neighbours know. Uh, they have had a bit of trouble up this way with people knocking stuff off the farms and things, but most of the farmers here know my vehicle. I would have, you know, they all talk to each other and they say, oh, he's right, that's just done. All right, guys, I'm um, going to get the rest of the ferrets and that out. I've brought uh, an array of ferrets today. I've got the two young ones that, that I got off Phil. I did get three, but I sold one of his. Um, kept the two that I thought were most likely. I've got the two pink eyes that I bred last year. Come on, get in. Uh, all the young ones I brought out today, except for Grace. I think I've got Grace. I've got Trixie, Tilly, um, Tilly's the, uh, Trixie's the only pole cat I brought today uh, Grace and Tilly So I've got a couple of experienced ferrets A couple of uh, medium experienced ferrets And a couple of very experienced fer ferrets So we've got plenty, plenty of ferrets Not too sure which ones I'll use here But um, you know, probably if I'll try and work the young ones first So we'll see how we go guys But you know, I'm expecting to get a few out of this burrow Like, you know, it's they always come to this burrow and I haven't done it for a while so there'll be some in it, guaranteed. As you can see young Fleety standing on that burrow, waiting for me to go and set up all the stuff. So he knows this, so he, straight away I know there's something in there just by his, uh, his way that he's carrying on there. He's just standing there and running around the burrows. All right, back to you guys. As you can see, it's not a huge burrow or anything like that. It's, it's relatively small. There is another burrow here, and there is one, a bigger one there on that fence line. Another bigger one over there on that fence line. I did see uh, one or two run into the bigger one over there as well. There is a, a nice burrow to do in here, and what I might do is I'll drop the ferrets in because they always run this way. I'll drop the ferrets in and just uh, use the dog over that one and hopefully uh, Fleet will pick him up he's, he's uh, got a good turn of speed so you know he's got a chance of getting and he's a handy dog mate I tell you he's turned into quite a useful animal mate alright guys just about to chuck the ferrets in there I might actually put Phil's 
two that I've got off Phil in first. This is the third time out. Nice ferrets, mate. This one reminds me of the mum. So I'm going to try and push them that way. I might just stick them in up here first. Beautiful day today, no wind, birds are singing, nice mild day. Oh, well done Fleet. Good boy Fleet, that, that didn't get two feet, that rabbit. Good boy. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Two of them jumped out there. Well, there's a couple in here, that's for sure. Nice half grown ones, too. Are you ferrets are pushing them out, Phil. Oh, they're really our ferrets, aren't they? Back down. Oh, heard something here. Flight. Good boy. Good 
photo, wouldn't it? What I might do is while them young ones are mess around with them, I'll drop a more experienced everything over here. Fleet's got him, Jeez, he's quick on him that dog. Good boy Fleet. Son, I've killed it for you, what more do you want? Ferret that type, really like her. Ferrets have caught one in here guys, that's for sure. There's a few young ones about at the moment like this one. But it's good for the young ferrets because they uh, they get a bit of a kill on the ground. Jeez. She's covered in blood. I knew they caught one. stubborn today. Some days they bolt easy and sometimes they don't. But they're held up somewhere. They'll, they'll be at the end of a dead end passage and they put their head in the corner. And there might be two or three rabbits blocked up in front of them. That happens every now and again. Ferrets will be biting the arse of the M1. Ta 
Covered in blood too. So they've had a feed, maybe they've found a bunch of young ones or they've killed one of them half growns and tore into it. This way, Fleet. It's a bit bigger one, it's out in the open, in amongst these trees. And it's a good one to let the dogs have a run, this one. Well, Fleet's on door, he knows where they are. Now. I thought it was just here. Oh no, he's on it, standing on it. Let's hope the battery doesn't run out. I thought about Trixie, that's not Trixie, that's bloody Sally. set by a whisker. Where did it come out from? Oh yeah, right there, Sally. Savage Sal. Oh, there's a bit going on. She's looking for it. Look, there's another one. Oh, got away from it. Bloody rabbits everywhere. Come on, plate! He would have caught that for sure. Oh, he 
I missed him, did he? Thought he would have got that for sure. Oh no, he missed him. Bloody hell. Oh, I must have got in there. Hole hopping. See, no, no, I want to find him. Back down. Barrett's got that one just in there somewhere. Can't get, can't reach it. No fleet. Then you follow there to the burrow and into there. Back down. Not ready to come out yet. Back in the box.
just got in. Good boy, Fleet. Get in, Fleet. I'm also. Grace. Oh. Oh, guys, when um, Sally's comes out. And a pack up and there you go. Managed to get a couple, so that's good. I'll get a bit of a run. And we got to work a young ferret, so. Although I left Trixie at home, a bit disappointed in that. Grabbed Sally instead in my haste. And Sally. Gil, Sal. Gil, Gil. Alright guys, I might stop and do one or two more, I'm not too sure yet, see how I feel. I just sort of came out, give the dog a bit of a run. Take the young ferrets out. Beautiful day out here though, it's fantastic. Alright guys, I've said it a thousand times before, I'll say it again. Whatever you're doing in life, make sure you enjoy it. You take care guys, bye bye for now.